What's going on everybody? So today I'll be showing you how to mod your characters for the uh, Wii U version for Simu on the PC. So what I mean by changing player models is completely changing the character's look. So I've done this for a few characters already. As you can see Yoshi. Change Shy Guy's mask. So I got rid of Donkey Kong and I've added Funky Kong. Um, I've also got rid of Koopa Troopa and added Kirby. Uh, so today I'm going to show you that and we are going to demonstrate that with Mario. So let's head over to the desktop. Okay, so once you're at the desktop, the first thing I recommend doing is creating a backup for your um, for your Mario Kart. I like to do backups whenever I start modding a game just because you never know when you're going to end up fucking it up. So you might as well do that. So once you've done that, we can go get our mod. So I like to go to Game Banana. This is a great site. You can um, choose between sections, download maps, skins, textures, stuff like that. Uh, today we're going to focus on skins though. We're going to stay in the main menu. And we're going to scroll down here. And let's get this one. Mario Swimwear. So you scroll down to here and you get manual file. And then if you look here, it shows the contents, and in order to get um, our new skin, we need to focus on this part right here, the content driver, and then the Mario SZS. This is what will replace uh, the actual Mario character. So you're going to download that from here. I already have it on the desktop. So open that up. go into the content and then you got driver and UI so come over here go to game um, then you got to go to Mario Kart 8 open that up now it's very similar to what this is content now we have the driver open up your driver open up the driver of the modded folder and we'll go to Mario. So now literally you take this, get rid of it, take our modded one, drag it in. Now we're not done yet, so what you want to do is go back to games where you got your CMU folder. Go into MLC01, user, title, should be this one. Now you're going you might have all of these files depending on which game you have, but you can tell which one is the right one by going into them. And you see it's very it's lined up the same way as this. But when we open it up, we want to look for our driver folder and the UI folder. So if we open up this one, it doesn't have it. Let's open up another one. It doesn't have it. So what you want to look for when you go in the content folder is your driver and your UI and that's how you know you're in the right one. So go into your driver and we're going to do the same thing that we did in the Mario folder. Take the Mario, drag it out, take it, drag it in. And once you did that it should work, you should have your uh, swimwear Mario. Um, since I am still new to modding, I haven't quite figured out how to work the UI and get that to work. I believe this allows you to change the actual menu icons, but I haven't quite figured that out yet. So, if anyone in the comment section knows how to do that, feel free to help me and other viewers out. But now that we added it into the driver, let's go check back in Mario Kart and see if we have our new swimwear. Alright guys, we're back, and as you can see, we have our new Mario, and he's got his swim gear.